go, friends. I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is another episode of Curl Talk, and I have a very special guest, Ellie from Dope Curl. What's Dope up? Curls in the building. <laughs> so my name is Ellie, aka Dope Curls, and I also have a YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel, I talk about the basically the health of your hair, keeping your hair healthy, deep conditioners, home remedies, and as you can see, I have more four type hair. And that's exactly why she's here. Honestly, backstory, I literally just found her on Instagram. <laughs> like she added me and I was like, oh my God, I love her hair. Their, her curls are dope. Thank you. And I was like, I, I really wanna do a video on my channel with type four hair because you guys have so many questions because her mm -hmm. hair type is different than mm -hmm. mine. And she lived in Vegas, so I was like, damn, like you're too far. She's like, girl, I will drive <laughs> to LA. And here she is. So she's like the real MVP. So thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Honestly, like when you asked me, I geeked out. Like I really geeked out. I was like, I don't want to freak out. I don't want to act like a fan, but I'm fanning out. So I'm super excited to be here. So thank you so much. Of course. Yeah. So I actually went on Instagram live this morning. If you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? Follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. Follow Ellie at Dope Curls with two Z's. Yes. Um, but I asked you, what questions do you have about type 4 hair? My hair is type 3, more like 3B. What kind of hair do you have? So I have mainly type, I would say, 4A. Now, it's weird because I do categorize myself as 3C, like in the front, but more 4A, 4B throughout my hair because we all have so, much, so many different textures. Yes, okay, hair. so let me see your, your type 3 section. Or like, where is it type 4? Three, where's the type four? So I feel like, okay, so especially when I like wet my hair, mm -hmm. I feel like it's more so like they're tighter curls. So I'm like, is it more, maybe this is more for A and maybe well, I'm. That's the thing about the whole curl typing yeah. thing, which is a whole nother story. Mm -hmm. Like depending on what chart you look at, some people would say my have three C hair, but like my curl mm -hmm. versus your curl is so, so different. It is. So now <laughs> that I'm looking at yours, I'm like, yeah, for A. Like, yeah, yeah for A. I would say that your hair would be for A. Yeah. Cause even in here it's so for B. It's so and so soft. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Our hair is obviously very different. So that could mean different techniques, different styling. So we're going to go through all that right now. Yes. So one of the main questions I got was about just your typical wash and go. Why don't you walk me through it? I actually had you film some footage so we get to see her do yes. it. Let us know, do you pre-poo, do you shampoo, do you detangle in the shower? Like give us the whole rundown. Okay, awesome. So when I first get in the shower, I divide my hair into at least four to six sections. Sectioning is very important. It's important because you want to make sure that every strand gets touch every strand gets moisturized every strand gets cleansed correct mm -hmm. so that means we're just gonna have to go the extra mile and typically with type 4 hair we have thicker hair mm -hmm. so we have to make you know we have to make bigger sections okay just to break down the old product buildup I typically use apple cider vinegar mixed with water to dilute the apple cider vinegar and don't worry guys it's not actual glass cleaner I mix half and half water and apple cider vinegar so with the apple cider vinegar, it is going to balance out our pH level of our hair. Therefore, it's going to protect it from breakage. Nice. And it's going to add shine, moisture, and it's going to help with frizz and detangling. So use apple cider vinegar as your pre-poo or instead of a shampoo? Or I use it instead of a shampoo. Oh, interesting. Yes. I definitely don't use shampoo because a lot of shampoos have sulfate in them. I do like the sulfate-free shampoos, but I feel like they still do dry my hair out. So then after that, I... Leave in the apple cider vinegar for about 10 minutes. You want to massage your scalp to get that blood flowing mm -hmm. and stimulate hair growth. Mm -hmm. And after that, I'll use my Diva Curl No Poo in replace of shampoo, basically. So you kind of cleanse twice. I do cleanse twice. <laughs> you yeah. get that good deep clean. Yeah, right? Yeah, I do cleanse twice. Maybe I need to just do it once, though, like, and switch it up. I use the no poo as a replacement to shampoo. Right. So this is still like my cleanser. Right. Um, sometimes I use the Diva Curl Build Up Buster, which is also great for product buildup. But apple cider vinegar is definitely a lot cheaper than Diva Curl. Right. <laughs> um, but I also like the one condition. So I'm really glad to hear you say that because there is like a stigma that people say that Diva Curl products don't work on type 4 hair. And I'm glad to hear that you love it. Exactly. Yes, I do. I do. I love Diva Curl. I swear by it. It's amazing. Nice. But you want to make sure you get the decadence line. Yes because our hair needs as much moisture as possible. And then after you're, you're done cleansing and conditioning in the shower, do you detangle with a Denman brush or your fingers or how do you detangle? So it depends. I use a wide tooth comb or mm -hmm. I will use a Denman brush as well. Kind of what, whatever's on hand. Okay. But it works for my curls. As long as my hair is soaking wet, the Denman brush will detangle and also define. See, I like 
did not like the dead that's brush. crazy. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what? For me, it was like such a rough brush. Wow. And I feel like it was like literally ripping out my hair. Like I wasn't getting any slip at all, even with my best conditioner. Really? Um, and I've been told I could modify it, but I'm like, eh. eh. But people also <laughs> told me that Denman brushes aren't really for detangling. They're for just definition. Do you use it to detangle or for both? Or what do you use it for? I use it for both. It will define my curls, but I feel like it does cause a little bit more shrinkage. Oh, because my curls are more, true. you know what I'm It'll saying? It up, yeah. They're, they're spirals. So what do you do to get rid of shrinkage? Great question. So I actually trial and error, and one day I think I just came up with this. So I'll take a blow dryer and the attachment to the blow dryer. Honestly, I have I have to put on my page what I do because I don't know if I have a recent one, so thank you for that. New video coming soon. Yeah, literally. <laughs> thank you for that. So I'll take a blow dryer. I'll take sections of my hair, mm -hmm. part it, blow dry just the root, and I leave it on medium heat. I don't do high heat. It's not even necessary. Okay. But you always want to make sure your hair is fully dry. I also have shrinkage, so let's do a little okay. shrinkage test. So. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Like, mine <laughs> is actually yours this is long, long girl. Let me see yours. See? Dang, we right. both got like inches that inches, we're not getting credit literally. for. <laughs> right, <laughs> we're not getting any credit for it at all. at all. So for what I do, I, I also use a pick. I kind of pick my hair down, okay. and that kind of you know brings it down. Then I'll bring these parts nice. up, okay. and that kind of helps with my shrinkage. Um, when I use the diffuser, okay. I use the diffuser attachment, and I'll kind of pull it and just kind of dry it while it's like being pulled. Okay. And that kind of helps versus oh, always nice. doing this. We'll just obviously scrunch it up. But if you want it longer, just kind of like pull down. Cool. And you're also getting really good volume. Yeah. So is this, what, what day of hair is this? Day this one? is first day hair. This is your day one hair? Yeah. Okay, well, we got to talk about this. My hair would never look this like beautifully volumized on day what? one. What? So when I get out the shower, yeah, my hair will literally be flat on my head where mm -hmm. I know type four hair, like it just, it's not going to be like flat. No, flat. no, that, no, not no. Happening. Yeah, you're right. She's so right. Yeah, she's right. <laughs> After you get out the shower. Right. Then what do you do for styling products and how do you apply it to your hair? For styling products, I typically use a conditioner. I don't want to say it's leave-in because it's not always leave-in. Okay. But I would say I use like a medium... Thickness? Yes, medium thickness for a conditioner. Certain conditioners are too heavy for my hair. Okay. I'll use the conditioner and then I'll use an oil. So typically coconut or almond oil. Okay. Put it through my hair. And then I typically use a mousse. And what I'll do is I'll actually mix all three together. So a little like in your palm, you'll get some conditioner, some oil, and a mousse. Exactly. And mix it in together. Yep. And divide my hair still into those four to six sections. Mm -hmm. And start from the ends and work my way up to the root. Okay. And use my Denman brush. Brush through so my curls are more defined. Because if you just scrunched it, you'd be missing some big exactly. chunks. Oh, yeah. And okay. I can never, like, what do you do? Like, so that's what I do. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> I wish I could do that. Like, I cannot do that. I mean, honestly, I'm really lazy with my hair. That's why it's funny <sighs> you guys listen to me. But um, I will just, like, literally get product, and I You're smooth it. <laughs> I smooth it on my hair and no. then I scrunch. That's amazing. And then, That's great. I know if I if I do do sections, mm -hmm. it will be more defined. Okay. But I actually prefer even more lately volume over like perfect definition. Mm -hmm. So if I I could do sections and I'll get right. literally perfect curls, but it'll right. be really flat. Understood. So I almost need like that frizz at least underneath just to like give me some extra cushion okay. and while the pretty curls are on top. <laughs> got it. Another common question that I got about type four hair that I want to discuss is mm -hmm. how do you refresh your hair? Typically, I refresh my hair by taking a water bottle mixed with oil. Oh, oh you mm -hmm. put oil in the water bottle. I put oil in the water oh, bottle. interesting. Mm -hmm. I like my hair to have as much moisture as possible, plus I live in a desert. Oh yeah, so you're in Vegas. Vegas, yeah. <laughs> so all my Vegas girls, everybody that lives in a desert, I would recommend you Mix your water with oil just so your hair, you make sure it gets the nutrients that it needs. And also because it's out, it's going to be, it's more prone to get more dry quicker. Oh, that's a really good point. See, now for me, if I refresh, which I'm very team refresh, like mm -hmm. I'll refresh for eight days if I can, I have to use a styling product every time. So awesome. I'll also like soak my hair. Try not to soak it if you don't have to, but I, I'll just mist it with just water. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to try this oil thing now. Yes. Um, and I have to use a little bit more of my gel or a little bit more of my cream and then my hair will last otherwise if I just wake up and I'm like oh it looks cute it'll look cute in the day but it won't get me to the end of the day oh I see that's like so different like if I did that I'd have too much product in my hair really yeah it's like way too much product I feel like it would just weigh my hair down 
and my curls will start looking like they have a film on them. And what about uh, when you do refresh? The main thing for me is how I sleep helps with how I have to refresh. So I sleep with a pineapple, I hair up in a ponytail. Yes, and you I do, do the pineapple, exactly. See, pineapple. everybody's team pineapple. Exactly, we love it, like you have to try it out. I use a scarf, I, I, I use a scarf and I do have a satin pillowcase. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we just covered a lot of curl knowledge. I'm so happy you came on the channel to educate yes. us on type four hair. If you guys learned a thing or two, please leave a comment. Let us know what was new information for you. But the knowledge does not stop here. We're actually gonna go over all of our favorite curly hair products. So the best products that work for type three hair versus the best products that work for type four hair. So we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty of what products you need to buy and which ones you don't on her channel right now. And if you have your own type four tips, please leave those below as well. But Ellie has so many videos on her channel explaining from wash and goes to lock method, to twist outs, to DIY masks. So make sure you subscribe to her channel and follow her on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, which is... Dope Curls with two Zs. So make sure you leave a comment, let her know that Bianca Renee sent you yes. and watch all of her amazing curly hair videos as well. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.